the arcade game hit US arcades in 1992. The arcade was published and developed by Konami. The game was based on a cartoon TV show that was based on a comic originally created in 1978. The show, sadly, only lasted one season, giving us 13 episodes. The arcade was licensed from Hasbro, who are also in charge of making the toy line as well. It was quite obvious that the show was trying to capitalize off the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle craze that had been sweeping the nation, to which it clearly didn't fare too well. However, the arcade game was interesting and featured a lot of characters and voices from the cartoon show itself. Mission accomplished! Yeah, come on, me bucko! Let's go fry the warts off a few dozen more of them fly munching toadies! I'll atomize mammal mush and mangle their mammal bones! At first glance, you'd think this arcade game would be a side-scrolling beat-em-up. However, it was more of a run-and-gun shooter. Yeah, you could punch if you got close to an enemy, but the game was primarily played like a shooter. The arcade supported up to four players, and you could play as one of the four characters. Bucky O'Hare, Dead Eye Duck, Jenny, and AFC Blinky. Each character had the same playstyle and special screen clearing move that you could acquire while you played the game. You could hold up to five charges. The game featured power-ups in the shape of POW guns that would increase the strength of your weapon. Other than a visual look, all the characters played identically. Bucky O'Hare the arcade game featured interesting locations and enemies from the TV show itself. There were a total of eight stages, each with a boss encounter towards the end. The final boss was designed to be a quarter eater and takes far more damage than any other boss in any arcade game I've ever seen. He also has an obnoxious amount of phases as well. at 40 quarters. What a rip! The arcade game wasn't bad. In fact, the amount of detail on the cutscenes was particularly impressive. However, the gameplay wasn't as fun as other beat-em-ups out there or shooters. I am now going to play in its entirety the intro theme song to the animated show, which is probably what made this TV show withstand the test of time to begin with. I dare you not to get this stuck in your head. Another time and space, a parallel universe is falling on its face. When out of the chaos, who else could it be? But the animal adventurers from SPACE! Bucky! Captain Bucky O'Hare! Mutants and aliens and toads beware! You're looking for adventure? Well, this is it! With Jenny Dead Eye Blinky and Willie to win, I said, Bucky! Captain Bucky O'Hare! I'm the Dead Bucky O'Hare on the Toad Wars! In the battle of the universe, you don't know what's next. You only know amphibians are made it complex! When you check out your scanner, Evil that it votes is only one course of action. Let's go for some toes. Bucky, Captain Bucky O'Hare. He goes where no ordinary rabbit would dare. If your righteous indignation has suffered a hit, and your photon accelerator is broken a bit, and you're losing your mind, and you're having a fit, get the funky fresh rabbit who can take care of you. Bucky, Captain Bucky O'Hare. Bucky, Captain Bucky, Bucky O'Hare. Let's croak us some toes. Have a request for an arcade corner? Tweet me and include hashtag arcade corner. For more videos like this and everything else gaming related, you're already in the right place. You're on shacknews.com. Next time on Shaq's Arcade Corner.
submitted for your approval. Louis Galloway, 13 years old. He said he was ready for the ultimate video challenge. But there's something new behind those doors. And there's no turning back when you enter the video zone. Mind-bending games. Unstoppable nemesis. A video menace at every turn. Encountered from inside the game. It's a new reality in a new dimension. Nickelodeon's Ozone. It's the ultimate video challenge. Nick Arcade. Weekdays at 5, 4 central. On Nickelodeon.